today talking about the Noritsu. We're here with Roman. He's a resident Noritsu expert. <laughs> We're just going to go over a few basics with you so that when you send in your film, you kind of know a little bit what's going on behind the scenes. Roman, can you tell us a few pros of scanning on the Noritsu? Um, let's see. I would say pro number one would be contrast. Uh, there's a lot more control in terms of contrast on the Noritsu, which is really nice. Also, when we scan, we'll we see a lot more frames as we scan, so the consistency and co consistency and color uh, would be awesome. So. so we see a lot of wedding photographers who prefer the Noritsu because they really yes. want consistency from frame to frame. Yeah. So the Noritsu is really great for that. Mm -hmm. Also, the Noritsu scans in the magenta green channels, correct? It does, yeah. Okay. Um, and so that works well, um, especially scanning, let's say, Fuji 400H. Um, it kind of pumps up those minty greens, which some people like, mm -hmm. uh, which is awesome. And it's good for a pink skin tone totally, as well. Totally, yeah. So this is our Noritsu scanner. Um, this is what we use. On it right now is a 120 uh, carrier. Uh, just because we are feeding in and we're scanning 120. We also have a 35 carrier that we will swap out, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this is how we feed in the Noritsu. Usually we just feed it in last frame first. That way when we scan it, we scan the first frame first, which is kind of confusing, but it works. Um, so it feeds in the whole thing, kind of eats the whole thing up, and then as it comes back out, that's when it will scan each frame coming out. All right, perfect. So it just brought up six images uh, once I fed the film in, um, which is perfect because it allows for better consistency overall. Because I'm looking at six images, I can edit them accordingly, and they can all look similar, which is really awesome. One thing that I want to mention, talking about the Noritsu, is this right here. It's called the DSA. This is where we go in and control any of the contrast. Uh, we use a couple of different things. We use this right here, this automatic contrast, as well as this automatic contrast section over here, which is really awesome. Um, so I'm going to adjust this frame right here real quick, just to give you a, a look. Um, so if you drag this, you can see those highlights kind of come down just a little bit. It might be a little difficult to tell, but it helps out a lot, especially when it's really bright. It keeps those blown highlights down, which is awesome. And then with this section, we can go in and adjust individually, like the shadows. Like, let's say if I want it a little bit more punchier, I can like up those blacks in a lot. Um, same thing with the highlights. Like I can brighten those highlights a lot if I want, or I can take them down as well. So this is a really awesome uh, tool to use if you know you need a lot of flexibility with contrast which is yeah. awesome can you show us some color adjustments yeah for sure so with the Noritsu we work in three different color channels we have a cyan channel which is this one here and then we have a magenta channel which is this one and then the yellow channel um, basically with these channels with the cyan I can either add in cyan and you can see how the frame gets way way cool um, and then if I take out cyan it basically adds red um, with magenta, it's kind of the same. I can add in magenta, and then if I take it out, it adds in a lot of green. Um, and then with yellow, I can add in yellow, or I can take it out and it kind of puts in a little more blue. Um, keep in mind that the color changes that we do in scanner, it's going to be an overall adjustment. As you can see, when I change those colors, it changed the whole entire frame. Um, I'm not able to go in and particularly select certain colors and just change those. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind and with that you'll probably have to do some post work to get your scans like as perfect as you want. Um, we'll definitely try and get as close as we can uh, but we definitely are limited in, in terms of color. So um, There's a couple cons about the Neurotu as well. Um, one of them is that with film stocks kind of like Fuji 400H, um, it's a cyan based film stock and so if it's underexposed there's going to be this green ish type of color in the shadows which can be a con another con which isn't really a con it's more of just a personal preference um, is the grain structure on the Naruto is different from the frontier so that's one thing to look at when you're choosing your scanner all right are there any last things about the Naruto you want to say before we wrap up um one last thing is scanning is definitely just a baseline um, you're not going to get 100 percent perfect scans straight off of the scanner um, just because we are limited, especially with color, like what we showed you earlier, uh, you definitely have to do some post-editing if you want to get that perfect, perfect look. 
if editing isn't your thing or you are just tired of it, we do have a premium, premium service, which is super awesome. Um, and you'll get your perfect scans immediately from the lab. So yeah. That's perfect. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any other questions about the Naritsu, feel free to drop us a line. You can always email us at input at the fine lab .com. Yes, sir.